So this is the Fender T-Bucket, the uh, 300 CE. You can see it's an electric acoustic, nice finish. What is this? Sun, black sunburst with like the orange and stuff. See, it's got a little 9 volt battery and the plug right there. Anyways, so this guitar has got a nice cutaway. You can reach up these higher frets if you want to play stuff up there. The headstock's got this pinstriping, says Fender, obviously with the Fender. And the pinstriping goes all the way down, you can see around there. And the inlay, got a nice big F for Fender on the 12th fret. So anyways, this guitar, I really like it. It sounds wonderful, it's nice and loud. Like, you know, it was like hogging up all the sound at Guitar Center. So I bought this to actually replace my other acoustic that was stolen last year, which really wasn't nice of them to do. <laughs> so I was looking around for a guitar, 200 to $300 range, and this one seemed perfect. It was $300, and it really blew all the other guitars out of the water in the same price range. I played other similar guitars that were maybe seven, dollars $800, and I honestly found this one to sound better. That's just my personal opinion, because it sounded nicer, like louder, cleaner, brighter, which I love bright tone. Anyways, th this guitar has a uh, solid mahogany top, so it's actually got a bit of weight to it, and it's pretty solidly built. The fretting is wonderful as well, no spilt glue, it's nice and smooth even, no little nicks. So I really like that. One thing I didn't like, there was a little scratch on the bottom, I don't think you can see it, but really light and maybe that's just me being nitpicky but other than that the quality of the guitar is wonderful still smells like fresh paint can't beat that right so anyways the neck on this guitar is fairly thin for an acoustic almost almost like an electric guitar neck which I love the action is fairly low which I also love on an acoustic because I'm tired of having to like build up my hand trying to play an acoustic guitar when you can't do a bar chord because the frets are or the action so high it's got these uh, nice uh, uh, standard Fender tuners. Hasn't gone out, out of tune yet. Had it for one day. Oh, and the uh, got a built-in tuner right there, which actually works fairly decently. Most of the time, they're a bit off or they just don't work. <laughs> but nice bright tone that's loud. You want to hear some... Being a Sublime fan, of course, I'm going to play some Sublime somewhere in this video. Like, I don't know, maybe now. So, it sounds pretty good for reggae stuff as well, which is a majority of what I play, but if you want to play, like, I don't know, grunge, rock, whatever, like, say some Nirvana. <laughs> Still sounds good for that too. A nice loud feel, punchy sound. I really like that on an acoustic guitar. It's fairly versatile. I plugged this into my uh, little Epiphone Valve Junior amp. It sounded pretty decent. When I turned it up, it sounded a bit muddy. It's just because the amp's a piece of crap. But other than that, it sounds very nice. The controls got bass, middle, and treble right there. So the controls work fairly nicely, and it's got a volume knob, which also, of course, works. <laughs> Um, to be honest, I, re I really could rank this guitar higher than some Martins. Like, I felt Martins, their necks just, just tips over because they're so heavy. But this guitar, fairly well balanced, doesn't really want to tip to either side all that much like others I've played. And overall, I really like this guitar and I'd recommend it to anyone if you're a beginner, intermediate, or even advanced player just wanting to play on stage or something. So. I basically rate this fairly high. Yeah.